what I want to do is I want to focus on a couple of things. And uh, this is uh, Florida Gators playing our three, our two, three zone, heart of what we do. We're going to look at some other stuff later, but for right now, I want to focus on a couple of guys. So here's some great stuff. There's your basic two, three. You got your wings, center wing alignment with a little help inside, two guards up top, no high post, so they're not over guarding it. We're going to focus on this guy to start. This is a really they get themselves turned around after the press, which happens to us. And then uh, Kentucky, who is ranked, is running guys all around trying to get looks, trying to slide a guy to the corner. We're going to focus here. This guy has two really hard things he has to do. Number one, he's got to guard a guy who's inside him. This is death. If that shot goes up from here, he's got position, and he's got to be pushed into the wall. Low hip, drive him into the wall. But that's not what makes this hard. Watch the come the shooter comes scraping over top, bang, cutter comes through. All right, so we'll run our guy through, and then here he comes. And now they're gonna screen him. He's got to fight over, and the center's gotta come over and help him. See him beat that screen? That was really impressive. Boom, center seals it in the middle. Okay, we're coming down. We're gonna watch this guy now. A couple things are happening in this clip. We got one guy's got two, wings got both. Now they got an inside seal. Now this guy does not get around the screen. But he knows he's got this shooter. Now, if we're in a, you can only assume that they're in a 31 because this guy is disciplined. This guy is in trouble, but watch. Knows he's got a shooter. Knows he's got a shooter. Keeps playing. Gets it back. Now, that, I mean, that's a screen just by virtue of this guy now fighting over it, fighting over it. The center not getting in here. because They don't come off the shooter. Comes down the lane. He knows he's in a 31. He knows a two is not as harmful to us as a three. And more importantly, builds that momentum. The center's got to do more to handle this. We're winning a one on one battle here. He's guarding no one. Boom, down the lane. Right? That's that guard got beat on the screen or that half, half screen, and the center didn't get up. Now, this one has a little, we're going to focus here. He gets screened, he gets over it. Look, that takes care of that. And then we get a little. We got a real nice battle happening. Seal it inside. He's got skip, tip out. You see how hard that they look? Let's look at that just a bit. Watch how hard these guys are working in their one on one battles. I mean, this, you're playing a zone, but look at the feet. You mind every man concept with hard feet, close out, close out, crossover, centers helping, challenging shots, and then the run out. All right, now let's isolate on this guy. So he's got a high post. And one of them is sinking in to take care of it. He slides up. He slides down. And look at that guard making the high post miserable. Back out. One of those guards have got to got to be active once the ball's in there, not before. See, he's working them. He's working them, making sure there's a seal. There's no double. He had to guess. I like that. There's nothing wrong. I know we gave up a three, but he had two. Take a look. That guy's got two. He's got to decide. Right? He beats the one-on-one -on -one battle. Makes that post miserable. Makes him miserable. Now he's got two. Now he's got two. And then he gets a great closeout on that post. Challenges the shot. The guy rushes it, cranks it over top. We're looking here. Watch this. Big guy hiding. Cuts through. Communication. How do I know? He drops down. The guard knows that there's a center. This. Look at that. Drops right in. You can't do that if you're not. you got your head on a swivel. And if we're not communicating. All right. Now here's where they get into some really nice stuff. We're working here. We know we got a guy free. He's really watching. The wing slides up. They they really collapse on penetration. And they're working that one-on-one -on -one battle on that side. Really on the inside position. It was nice. Look at that again. I know it happens quick. But he's got two. This guard's got him here. He comes up. The wing exchanges. Center slides down. Center's now working. But now he takes that inside position. See how he's working that chop and he's working his feet. That's a nice job. All right, so now they got a high post and they're in kind of a horn set. This is different. They both screen them. They could have chosen to go either way. We got to decide how we're guarding this. We love to go under. We don't think this kid's going to step back and shoot it, so we love to go under. But the center here, this is our highlight, has to guard up. There's nobody. Center's not going to sit down here and guard nobody. He's got a shooter, and they're really putting some pressure. If he goes under, they're putting pressure on him. See, if he drives right into that gap, he's got to choose. He handled the screen. He's overcommitted. He's got to get inside out. His head's not on a swivel. This happens so often. 
careful with communication and get his butt back in there and guard it. Now they've got to shoot her up, bump, and do that. Ball screen, got to fight it, help on the other side. Look at how they're just shading this movement. This movement is chicken just to get that shot from out there. And if we had, if they had just half a step more by the wing, I think he makes a steal. And that's a really important factor. Okay, we're going to run the baseline, handle the screen. We're going, we're going, we're, we're helping each other and switching. Okay, well, we'll just switch to a little. I love it. A little bit of man concept here. Over top, post gets back. And there's our one, two, three shape. There we go. Ah, I snuck a little man on here and there, boys. All right, so if we head back here and look at a couple of critical elements. Number one, especially this one that ends up in a three, right? We have to know that we go under screens. That's number one. Two, the bump has to happen. The post helps the high post. And we win this, and this can't be emphasized enough. This is Central's modus operandi. They come down here. I know you've seen it. Help in the post. Sprint over. Challenge a shot. And pause. So often teams are down this little battle. And you take that inside position. It's really hard. Really hard. Happens again here. We're going to isolate just on this guy. Now, right? We're not over guarding the high post. Bump on the shooter. Post slides in. Look at that. One-on-one -on -one battle. We'll get that one-on-one -on -one battle. Just slide it up just a little bit. go that's just that is really nice now he's got to get down now we got two he's got two and this guard has got to sprint in and bump him out sprint in right the wing's got that we got we're over we're under guarded he's got two he's got two essentially they've got us playing three on one which is a terrible spot for his own and look at that he gets the one-on-one -on -one battle underneath and then drives 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 can emphasize to you boys you can win in two directions you can push to the baseline or you can push back to half or you can push you know put your body on the inside this is a huge thing for us anyway that's uh, there's lots to learn from there especially for our young guys about the movement and the communication lots of different situations rock that thing back and forth and have a good look at it boys